Heading back to school means prepping school lunches once again, but it doesn't have to be a task that parents dread. That's right. We're on your side this morning with Katie and Leah Kimball from Kitchen Stewardship. They're sharing hacks for healthy school lunches. People are always saying, what recipes can you give me, Katie? And I say, you don't need recipes. That takes more of your time. You need systems to take less of your time. So I'm here with my eighth grader, Leah, and we're going to talk about how we make lunch faster, more nutritious, and also being a little kinder on the environment. So if that's your thing, these are your hacks. We're going to talk about easy whole foods that are already convenient packaged in nature. We're going to talk about thinking about lunch at dinner and then the kids' responsibilities. So first of all, Leah, go ahead and start kind of loading some things in. We always see a lot of packaged foods, right, when kids are eating. And we do that because it saves time. But it is not hard to have cherry tomatoes. I've sliced a cucumber this morning. We've got some hard-boiled eggs. And if you send those, make sure you peel them. Make sure you add salt because kids don't have time for any of that. And then look at all the whole fruits. Like, that's not difficult at all. And we always send yogurt in our house. Now, what if you haven't been to the store? What if you have no fresh food? This area is what I call my uh-oh. <laughs> my uh-oh. What do we always have on hand, Leah? We always have tuna, a fruit cup, some frozen peas. Typically, it's string cheese. I typically eat apple and peanut butter instead of tuna, though. Not a tuna fish, girl, and that's fine. And, you know, these I keep these in the basement, right? They are more expensive. I only look for 100% fruit juice, no sugar added. And, but if, if we need it, they're there, right? That's the uh-oh meal. Now to save time and to increase that nutrition, we tend to pack a lot of leftovers for lunch. So this is one example. We have taco night every Wednesday and the kids come right in when everything's already out. Meredith, that's the key. Everything's already out after dinner. You just put a serving into you know, a container, slap the lid on and lunch is done. And it's real whole foods and it didn't take any extra time. You can do that with burgers, like any slow cooker meat, anything that your kids would potentially eat cold or something you can put in a thermos. Of course, think about lunch at dinner time. Great suggestions. And Katie also suggests getting your kids involved in prepping those lunches. Have kindergartners put their lunch boxes on the counter the night before. First graders can empty the dishwasher. She suggests that kids can be packing their own lunches as soon as third grade. Katie and Leah, thank you.